Hi YouTube family, thank you so much for joining me today for this video. We are going to be talking about mix in mediums to your foundation, customizing foundation for your skin, your undertone, what looks best on you, and the best way to do that with different products. And you know what you guys, this is what makeup artists do. They have somebody sit down in their chair and when they get out of their chair, they look flawless. The reason is, is because they have this kit sitting next to them and they mix stuff up. They don't work with just one foundation for like light, medium, dark, fair, whatever. They mix foundations together. Some people, some makeup artists will use the mixing pigments. It just depends. Your makeup has to be customized to you. That's why so many makeup companies right now are coming out with this huge shade range because they're trying to encompass everybody. But I find that even then, even when I really get really close to what I need, I might need a little bit extra oomph in my makeup to make it look the way I want it to. So I'm a big mixer and I love to do that. What got me to do this video was this product right here. This is the LA Girl Pro Foundation Mix-In Pigment. You guys saw this when I did my little tour of my vanity back here in the organization of my makeup. And I had so many of you ask to please do a video about this and how I use it to change my foundation. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. But we're also gonna talk about what if your foundation is too light, too dark, what if it's too matte? But what about if your foundation is too cool and it needs to be warmer? And what if it's too thick or what if it's too thin? Then what do you do? Okay, I'm gonna start with the foundation that I have in my collection that I feel like is probably my most orange foundation. And it's the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. Now, I do like this foundation, but this is definitely the wrong color for me. It is very orange foundation and hopefully you will see it right there. And when I get that spread across my skin, it becomes such an orange mess on my skin and I can't wear it. I'm actually gonna put two lines of that foundation. I'm gonna do one for demo so you can see the before and then I'm gonna do one for after. Okay, so now we're gonna take the mix-in pigment and I know that it takes about a half a pump to change this foundation, but what I want you to do when you start is just take a very little bit of it. So I'm gonna take like a drop like that in the middle of that foundation and then I'm going to start to mix it to try and get that color to go to cool tone instead of that orange tone that it is. Now as I'm mixing it here, I can see that yes, it is turning a little bit cooler, but it's not cool enough yet. So I'm gonna put just a tiny drop more in there, one more drop, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix that. You can mix this in a pan. Um, a lot of people use a glass surface to mix it in, you can do anything like that. Okay, this is kind of spread out all over my hand, but you'll get to see the difference of what I'm talking about. So right here is the actual original color, very orange, and then right here we turned it into something that looks a little bit gray. But if you had a medium skin tone that was cool with a cool undertone, that would look actually perfect. Having a cool undertone does mean pink or a little bit more on the gray side. And I know that sounds terrible. We don't want gray on our face, but what I am wearing today is a very cool foundation. So it makes sense that we would go that route to try and get the foundation to change. Now, obviously that wasn't my right color. It was too dark, but you get the general idea of that. Again, I'm gonna take this found, same foundation, I'm gonna run a line of it on one side just for the purposes of seeing it, and then I'm gonna get a little dot there. Now, what if my foundation is too dark? They have mixed in pigments from the matte side, and then this is the illuminating one, this is the white. If it's too dark, you take a pump of that and you work that in same way. And you guys, don't be afraid to mix these. It's really easy to do. You're going to come up with your own special brand of you know foundation. Look how much lighter that is than that right there. It really does make a difference. If you need to make it even lighter than that, you go even lighter and take more of the white pigment. So that is the easiest way to do it. Now, what if my foundation is too cool? They also have a yellow and an orange. So you would kind of have to see where that's out. If you have an olive complexion, then you definitely would wanna go with the yellow or the orange and mix that in. Okay, I also talked about what if it's too light? The easiest way for me to take care of a light 
foundation is to get one of my darker foundations and just mix it in. That's really the easiest way. But I do have these bronzing drops from Temp2 and I it's supposed to go in an airbrushed system, which I don't have and I don't use, but I have really liked having those drops to mix into my foundation to make it look just a little bit more dark. This one I kind of made a mess with, but you can see the light one right here and then the dark one right here. So you can darken it up with bronzing pigments if you want to do that. Now, what if it's too matte? Or what if I want a more dewy finish to it? That one's pretty easy. You can get any sort of a primer. I have the Becca Backlight Filter that I use and I will put into any sort of a foundation. It will help it to not be so thick and it will also help it to have more voluminous finish to it. Also, if you have one that is really thick and matte and you, you know it shows a lot of texture on your skin because of that, you can put one drop of any oil that you have. This one happens to be the Argon oil that I have from The Ordinary. You can put one tiny drop and then thin that out a little bit. I prefer to go this way if it's a matte one because this gives a little bit of luminosity. Now I know that e.l.f. has an illuminating primer and I know that a lot of company, other companies are coming out with illuminating primers that aren't as expensive as this one. This just happens to be the one that I'm using up right now. What if it doesn't have enough coverage? Now that's always a good question. If it doesn't have enough coverage, there's a couple things that you can do to try might work, might not, okay? Color correcting is a, a big thing. I do have a color correcting video that I will link for you guys and you color correct your face underneath before you put your foundation on. And then it might have enough coverage for you because you've gone underneath it, color corrected any imperfections, and then you can just put it over that, you can just put your foundation over it in a thin layer. Now, if that is not something that you like to do, I don't recommend that you get a color correcting primer. Those usually don't work that well because they sheer out and you can hardly tell that they're even there. But also, obviously you can use your concealer afterwards to kind of do a spot treatment of where you would need it. The other thing that you can try, this one is a little bit tricky because you really do have to use tiny amounts. You can try putting in a little bit of your favorite setting powder into your foundation. Anything that is a really good one that might have a little bit of color in it, like the Maybelline Fit Me, it comes in different colors. So this might be a really good one to try. If it's your perfect color, you just need more coverage, try mixing in any sort of powder with it. Just start out with a tiny, tiny amount because if you get too much powder, it's gonna end up looking too cakey and it's not a good look, you guys know that. The very best option is to put a very thin layer on and then see how it covers and then do another layer and see if it will build on itself in order to make your foundation be just what you want it to be. Okay, you guys, bottom line, don't be afraid to mix your foundations. I'm a big mixer. I hardly ever take one foundation and I'm happy with it. I have to mix in different things to make it give my skin because I have different needs. I have texture, large pores. I have a lot of pigmentation on my cheeks. I have age spots, all that kind of good stuff all over the place. So I really do have to mix different things in to get the right color, the right tone, and then the right darkness, lightness, coverage, all of that good stuff. I hope that this video did make sense. If you guys have any questions at all about mixing things in, let me know in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you do like these kinds of videos where I give you little tips on the best way to tweak your makeup so that it will look the best on you. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. Please take care of yourselves. Love you very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.